Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, you know what to do, okay? I want to say welcome to all that have recently subscribed, all right? I appreciate the donations, the bookings, all the information you need will be in the description box below. Also, if you're waiting for a reading from me, I do appreciate your patience. I will be getting to you shortly, okay? I'm going to go ahead and knock out this collective reading. This is a timeless reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Parts may, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. I've already done my meditation, cleanse, call an appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be. In terms of our energy, we got high vibe, we got low vibe, we got those in the middle. <laughs> And those that like to stay in the middle. Why they like to stay in the middle? <laughs> There's some sort of transformation happening, all right? Please make sure to like the video. I really do appreciate you, okay? The star card is here. So that, um, you know, I'm getting third party just off top, okay? My stars know this is the star card. So this could have something to do with Aquarius. You could be a third party in a situation, right? Somebody could also be using you. I heard a scapegoat, but you know, that's my trophy wife, you know, trophy husband card. So this is somebody that is there for show for, uh, look, yeah. Mm, yeah. So there's a Taurus involved somewhere in this situation. Some of you could be <laughs> in a, a toxic connection with someone or you could be having somebody do some sort of work done on you okay or happened in the past okay so this is going to resonate for a few okay those of you that watch my channel you know specifically that you've been spiritually attacked whatever this person is doing this person that was hired contracted to keep you in a dead end situation to keep you in a dead end job to keep you working working and not receiving any rewards there's a victory here some of you may have identified this person okay this person could have came to you in your dreams or you've seen them in the dream state somebody seeing something uh karmic taking place like somebody going to jail somebody in somebody is possibly going to jail <laughs> okay even if you didn't envision it but i'm i'm being i'm being told that you know for those that got any questions about who I'm being told, my higher self, that's, that's, that's who's telling me. Yeah. You see, because I follow my intuition. You know what I'm saying? You see how this concubine, right? She got her stomach bounded and, and tight. That's her creativity bound and tight, right? Can't be their true authentic selves, whether if they are male or female. You see this beautiful peacock in the back and you can't tell because the feathers is not out. All these mountains in the back here. I heard somebody's avoiding something. Okay. So somebody could lightweight be delusional. I'm I'm just saying. And we can all, you know, it's a 50-50 thing around here. So again, Aquarius could be a culprit in a situation. <laughs> Okay, you could be a child's mother or it could have something to do with the cancer, but it's definitely some um, her big payback. Some uh, James Brown up in, in the building. We have the star card Aquarius. So we have Aquarius in their true authentic self. Okay, I feel like you took on some of that energy. You may have learned. Oh, my God. Okay, so somebody's been reading. What is that? The 72 laws of power or something, 42 laws or something like that. Somebody or somebody's been getting into some sort of occult studies. Okay, what I'm being told is somebody is trying to learn the art of manifestation, right? But this person has chaotic energy. So everything they manifest is chaos. This is why they build on unstable grounds. Somebody was start trying to stop someone from a new opportunity. This person was warned to stop, but they didn't. Of course, you know, because that's the lesson in this. You were being taught how to cultivate yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cultivate your energy. Be who your true authentic self. Be who God sent you here to be. And for some of you that require healing, right? 
You could be dealing with the Virgo. I have Virgo on your chart as well as Capricorn. If not, somebody definitely completed the cycle. They were they were the magician in this situation. Okay, you went in, you did a lot of uh, manifestation here. Okay, because this is a healer as well. But right here, yeah, somebody definitely freed themselves from a third party situation. I'm just trying to figure out. We have a Capricorn and Sagittarius cusp involved here somewhere because, you know, they love, or should I say Sagittarius Capricorn, they love to show up here, whoever this person is. You may have walked away from this person or they walked away from you, but somebody was trying to bend someone's wheel here with Leo and Taurus being right next to Okay, so this is a third party to, in some, I heard a job, somebody may have a uh, um, what they call it, a work husband or something like that. Yeah. Somebody don't mind being the side piece to somebody they feel have money, right? This is a heartless person, whoever this is, whether they male or female. For some, you know, it's a lot of people, so it could be male and, and female. They're emotionally manipulative. They only care about themselves, okay? This third party, they only care about themselves, Okay, somebody completed something. They found out what was hidden with the star card. We have Jupiter. Jupiter is all about expansion, and I'm being told to pull a romance angel with the star card. You can show me what it is I need to see. Finances and career and new love. Ciao. Money. Hundred dollar bills, y'all. Cash rules everything around me. Great, get the money. Hundred dollar bills. Oh, child. Very soon. So this person, they don't heal. Okay. They they use their looks to get ahead. They love to be a third party in a marriage or something that's been long term because they can get the financial backing that they need. And speaking of financial backing. For some of you, this is involving some sort of business adventure. Why the, why is this not coming out? Either show me. All right. Keep an open mind. All right. So I feel like somebody is like bidding for contracts. I don't know if this is somebody in construction or they, yeah, trying to build something. Right. With the engagement here. <laughs> So this person is your know, manifest a devil, a little sugar daddy, a sugar mama, a sugar bear. Oh, child, this is so messy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, for some, <laughs> that's cute. For some of you, somebody has completed in a cycle and they want to get engaged to you. Okay. And you are this third party. That's why you're showing up to, in the in the red, baby. Somebody in the red, somebody in debt. Ooh, child. Are they in their emotions or very passionate about you? With healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Mm, I feel like this person. All right, let me see about this engagement. I feel like this person. For some of you, this is in the past, and that's why it's complete. But for a lot of you, you're just stuck in this energy and you're waiting. Our beautiful little mess, our beautiful little liar. So positiveness. So definitely your guides, source, your higher self. God wants you to I heard, keep an open mind. And be positive, okay? Because somebody is worth waiting for. This person that is coming for you that may have had you stuck, okay? Somebody wants to reach out and hold you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Self-reflections and decisions and overcome. So this person had a lot of obstacles to overcome. Here, hey. Ooh, why is why, why? Hey, it's so strong, to dislike someone or something intensely, often in a way that evokes feelings of anger, hostility, or animosity. To have strong distaste. <laughs> it was grown. You left that nasty twain taste in their mouth. Or aversion for something, someone, or something that has to be done. They just, oh, they just, they hate you. I hate you. Oh, 
but they 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 inspire too. They or they hate that you inspire others, having to do some sort of self reflection <laughs> on themselves. Okay, so somebody's gonna be Osmeri now. Osmeri, why is Virgo here? For those of you, this is a third party that definitely um, likes to insert themselves. I feel like whoever you are thinking of at this moment is walking away from this third party. I feel like this energy was an energy that was very draining. Look at that. Come through. It does with the facts. <laughs> well, I heard the facts. The looks in the tea. Oh, my goodness. I know who that is. I don't do you watch her. She's really funny. But anyway, okay, so I feel, ooh, child. Ooh, ch ooh. 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 Now, mm. now, did somebody pick up some bad traits where they was? This person could have left you after somebody got left. A third party got left after something I heard was recovered. Ooh, look at that vampire thief energy. And it's a male. Is it happening to a male or is it a male doing it? So someone stepped off. Uh, you know, they went off looking for God, searching for all the answers. This person stays with their heads in the cloud. They could really be a great father, but someone, okay, someone uses their children as a means to do evil things nasty. They'd be like, I'm going to take care of I take care of my kids, man. Where's my mother for my kids? And then you see them and they got a Tesla. <laughs> Marble floors. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Spirit ain't having that. You know what I'm saying? Stop being a prostitute. A prostitute. Stop that. Okay. Using sex as a weapon. That's what happened to this person. They was very rebellious. That's why they had that Aquarius energy. You know what I'm saying? This person could also be her androgyny. And when I woke up this morning, I heard it too. Okay. So either someone is attracted to the same sex or the same sex is attracted to them. Because an androgynous person, they pull energy from both male and female. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of obstacles. Yeah, somebody was in the relationships. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was a womanizer also, and that's why we got the thief card here. Tell me what this cycle closing is about. I really do appreciate the way this father is glancing at this cycle close. Somebody walked the, walked the hell off. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could walk the walk the walk off and let their child. They said shit. If this is a if this is a woman, you see how this father is looking at this. Somebody a single father. For others of you, it could be a, a male that actually walked off from somebody that was vampiristic, but they got some like negative traits here. <laughs> With the thief card here, I, what male fraud? We, we, what is male? I have to look that up. Somebody's invading somebody's privacy with the male fraud. You know, you could do several time for that. I'm just saying, shh. Storyteller and the gossip goddess. Okay, so this is somebody that definitely you could be in a setting where you're very popular. Some of you speak. It's like speak on speak at podiums, okay? You could also tell stories, sing, compose music. Some of you could be music teachers, okay? Or you are dealing with one. Got it. Somebody's going through a complete transformation. It's like you changed your whole look. Some of you could have lost weight. Some of you are really stepping into your feminine energy, whether if you are male or female, okay? So if this is a male, this is somebody that is balanced, their male and female energy is balanced. You are calling someone in, and I just don't know. They could be an activist or a rebel without a cause. 
Uh, somebody went through a lot of spiritual healing here with this poet. I feel like you're going to have a lot in common. Some of you, this person could write music or you write music or you share common interests. Okay. Some of you could be public speakers. I heard lawyers too. Okay. I don't know where, with the adventure, possibly that's why. Okay. So with the virgin card here, this is an innocent type of love. It's like really pure. Some of you, this could be, <laughs> that's really weird. Somebody could have like a teenage, it's not weird, but somebody has like a teenage daughter um, or son, right? That has a girlfriend for the first time. So they're in that puberty stage. Yeah. Watch, watch them. Okay. I don't know. So I heard something about prom. I don't know. We ain't even in prom or some sort or some sort of party. Okay. Somebody could meet someone at like some sort of gathering where they dress up like really well, maybe a Christmas dinner or something. Okay. I Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to meet somebody at some sort of event here. Something could have been stole from someone too at a, like you're on vacation. I'm here at a hotel. Why is Vampire here? Let's see. We have insight. Open the third eye to strengthen intuition. Okay, so somebody needs to pay attention to their surroundings. We have wishes come true, rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. Ooh, this person prays on people. Okay, and so we have here safe and happy travel, protection from harm when journeying. So somebody could have tried to get someone into an accident. I feel like you may not have used your intuition. Like some of you, this is you acquire some sort of vampiristic person off on some sort of journey, possibly on vacation, or you met someone that was in survival mode. Okay, they were in the middle of um like, you know, an upgrade through spirit, if this person ta pa ta task, if this person passed or not, I don't know. We need to realize that some people, it you know, they get this way because they have some sort of favor in a spiritual realm and they're able to manipulate or they were able to manipulate until they were called to a sin. So we have to be mindful of that. Okay, so this is why this is a lesson for both you and for them with the tree of life. We have true wisdom and making good choices in life. So this is somebody that always, you know, they're they're toxic because they haven't healed. This is somebody that have not healed from things that happened to them. They could also be having people walk away from them because of their vampiristic uh, attitude towards life. Why is Steve here? We have prosperity and it came out in a reverse okay a prosperous business with riches and success so somebody could be trying to steal from somebody's um what is that i heard this has something to do with music for somebody something about somebody's masters okay somebody's trying to steal somebody's original work I also heard original content. Somebody could be pirating somebody's content and putting it on someone else's on their platform with protection, strong, protective magic for the family and the home. So know that you are protected. This person could have tried to have you robbed. Okay. Yeah. Some for some of you, they're they're just missing you. Like some like um you're not connecting with this person. Like God is keeping you protected. We have God is in, in the reverse with healing feminine energy. So, of course, this either is a man or a male or a female that has some sort of broken feminine energy. Okay. This could be male or female. They could attract people that are in a sense broken because they don't, they haven't healed. They, they hold on to materialism. They don't mind being third parties. Like they, I'm hearing low standards. They may look good. They may look attractive, but this person positiveness came out here. So this person may be the total opposite of you since this is in a shadow form. This is somebody that looks good. They play the part well, but they're negative. Okay. All their engagements are false and phony. I think I did a reading that says I'm a false and phony. If you see it, check it out. Okay, so it says time to shine. Create the energetic 
resonance for golden opportunities creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities time to shine in the reverse so somebody didn't like somebody's light they wanted to come in possibly dim your light okay for some of you this is a father and it happened to them because they could have for some of you this person could have walked away from a family i'm getting what do we need to know about the storyteller So we have a power symbol, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. Somebody could be going to the doctor and someone could be telling them like some results here or some sort of nutritionist. You could be a, uh, a nutritionist. You could be someone that teaches about like, you know, like real feminine things. Like you have an audience that you speak to. Okay, you may have a lot of people that look up to you, a lot of people that want to sleep with you, male or female. Okay, you have this goddess energy. I'm getting Venus energy, especially with the red. But yeah, a lot of people are attracted to you. Okay, you may have a calming uh, presence about yourself. It says, listen to divine wisdom and joyfully learn life's lessons. So you definitely completed a cycle and, you know, your guys, universal life force source is here granting you the power you may have had to cleanse yourself or you may have to going forward, continue to do like cleansing practices. OK, keep yourself are pure. Some of you, somebody could be lying. Somebody could be telling people that they had sex with you. OK. Some, for some of you, somebody could have lied and said that they had sex with you. I just got that, okay? With spirit, heavily assistance for from your angels and guides. So know that you are protected against all these lies. Why is this prince here? Ah, tree of life, the wisdom and making good choices in life. I feel like we've seen that already. Did I just pick that up? I, just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so if somebody wants to create with you, they could possibly want to plant a seed. Okay, they want to plant a seed, whether if it's physical or spiritual. You know, some of you, this person may feel like they have a life purpose in you. I'm hearing for some of you, this would be the best choice they've ever made in their life like this person may be like I, I heard sober living so somebody could you know be clean or getting clean for the first time or seeing things clear with little luxuries generates luxurious experience and surroundings okay so these are seed your guards by the way right so they're powerful uh, ways to manifest and trigger your DNA, okay, like symbolically, because we all know that English is the bastardized language, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and continue on with the reading. We have successful career in the reverse. So for some of you, you're being warned against this person. A happy working environment, pay raises, and promotions, okay? So some of you, you know, you get with this person, they're going <laughs> to... All your energy. I'm just saying. They're going to it all up. You know what I'm saying? Because we had a successful career. Okay. So some of you, this person has been watching you. For some of you, it is a child's father. They could have been put out. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have put their child's father out too. I'm just saying. Why is God is here? I, I'm curious. So somebody lied. They didn't make a good choice. Okay. I heard anointed one, a chosen one for this God. God is here. Whoever's in this energy. And we have, look at this. Spirit in reverse. Heavenly assistant from your angels and gods. It, it just came out reverse. It just came out reversed. So somebody is not protected here. It's interesting how this reading changed. The festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party. Or, oh my God, this person is trying to clone you. Because you have like this healing energy. 
So you're having to like purify yourself constantly and consistently. Okay, so there's something cycling out. There's a ch uh, chapter closing here. One enchanting evening, the perfect night. Look at this. You're going to have to cleanse yourself. For some of you, you got like a toxic baby father. For some of you, it could, uh, if you're a male, it could be your child's mother or someone that is a mother of a child that you may have encountered in the past. Somebody that you walked away from that was very attractive. You even possibly thought about engaging them. Some of you could be engaged with this person right now. If you're engaged with this person right now and they had a baby. I'm hearing for somebody that's an Aquarius and a kid, a Virgo. The father could be a Virgo. This person like is an absent mother. You take care of the child. child ooh, wait, I gotta get up out of this energy. Um Yeah, somebody's embarrassed by their actions here, but there's a cycle complete. You got to figure out where you fit in in this situation. Somebody has a fear of change. Did we see the hermit card? Well, we got Virgo right here. That's the hermit. So this father could have a fear of change, right? They could have had some sort of tower moment, um, surrender to setting limits. So some of you are dealing with someone that pushes the limit. They bend people's will. You may have been someone that lacked boundaries in the past. Okay, some of you went through some sort of crying sprees. You were dealing with somebody that projected their insecurities onto you. You may be having some stomach issues because we did talk about the binding earlier, the binding of the stomach. Somebody may also be doing like waist training or something. I feel like somebody may have gotten some sort of uh, mommy makeover or they're thinking about like you could be researching like money, mommy makeovers. Especially for some of you that lost a lot of weight because you were in the public eye. Spirit, universal life force source says surrender to setting limits. Okay? Because some of you need to realize that it's not about what you look like. It's about your energetic match. And that's a part of your awakening. Somebody could have skipped, a, um, you know, like Mario. Mario go to the little... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And you get to go to the little, yeah, yeah, I've been playing Mario. Anyway, surrender. <laughs> you know, that reminded me. <laughs> what was that, the Brady Bunch? <laughs> it was an episode <laughs> when he went to go sing and he, uh, when he went to go talk and he started singing. I don't know. Why am I thinking about the Brady Bunch? Okay. I don't, any, I don't know. Somebody may be pretending to be, you know, like they got a happy home. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. But somebody got to surrender the fear of, of Let me get up out of here. All right. I'll tell you later.